the relationship analysis questions are kind of weird. And these are the ones that I think a lot of students have trouble with because they're so strange. So in the relationship, relationship analysis questions, you're going to be given two statements. So let's look at this example number one. H2SO4 is a strong acid. When we read that and we say, is that true or false? In this case, this is true. H2SO4 is one of the six strong acids that you should know. Now we look at the second statement. H2SO4 contains sulfur. Well, yeah, that's true, right? Here's the sulfur. So that's a true statement. So true, true. So we would go to our answer sheet. Notice the questions are from 101 to 115 approximately. Um, so actually, it's kind of weird. You kind of go out of order. So the first 23 questions, 1 to 23, are those classifications. Then suddenly you jump in the next part of the test to 101 to 115. And then when you do the multiple choice, you go back to 24 and on. So just be very careful when you're doing your bubbling in that you're bubbling in the right places. Um, <clears throat> so here, if this were number 101, we would bubble in true. And we bubble in true. But then we have to determine, <clears throat> since they're both two, is it a correct explanation? Does this statement explain why that statement is true? And in this case, no. H2SO4 is a strong acid for reasons other than the fact that it contains sulfur. So we don't mark the CE bubble. Let's look at number two. An atom of oxygen is electrically neutral. Yes. So if you just have an atom of oxygen laying around with no charge, of course, it's going to be neutral. How about the second statement? An oxygen atom contains an equal number of protons and electrons. Well, that's true. Uh, that's, and in fact, not only is that true, that is what makes this true. The fact that an oxygen atom contains equal numbers of protons and electrons is what's going to make it neutral. So not only is this true, true, but since the second explanation explains the first, or sorry, the second statement explains the first, we can then bubble in correct explanation. Now you only have to bubble in uh, or even think about correct explanation if it's both true and true. If you have true, false, false, true, or false, false, you don't even have to consider the CE. It's only when you've got true, true that you actually have to consider it. Now we're going to work through a lot of these questions, so don't be uh, upset or anxious if you don't quite understand the process yet. Uh, we're going to have so many practice examples that by the time you've worked through all of them, you'll know exactly how to tackle these.